So the next step would be to log into our system with this newly created user, which is developer three. And it will ask to change our previous password. So I'm going to give a new password here. And uh, this can be anything, a good password string. There are some pre-checks for the password. And uh, that include that the password should not be same as the previous password and it should have eight character or all those checks. So it should agree with that. You can see those details in SU01 as well. If you see here, then um, this logon data. So you can basically see the information about what are the rules. So here, so these are basically more information about password and um, you can follow those. But here, as we are just kind of testing this our development part so we'll not be much serious about making a password secure but in a best practice it's always good to have better passwords which are not easy to guess okay so we are here in our user so this is the new user login and um, basically what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go into the fury launchpad and the uh, url for fury launchpad i can Go to the startup here and here from the home screen i will basically see the fury launchpad execute in new window and let's see in which browser it opens so it opens in uh, ie and i will be copying it there's a debugging point which i set which i don't need i'll just pass by this and this also okay so basically if I come here I'm still waiting and I'm just going to copy this free launchpad URL I'm going to go in Chrome I will open a new incognite window because um, I would be signing in with the credentials of this new user which is developer three and the password and um, this is basically what you get you get a blank screen you don't have anything but error so our objective is to provide this user with your uh, purchase order app access so let's go to the configuration step so if we sign in with our other user, which is developer, then you can see that this is the app which we are basically going to provide access to. So we will be next going into this um, configurator, launchpad configurator, and uh, the URL for that would be, we'll copy this here, and um, it should be from here, we'll remove it, and SAP slash, s a r s r v c underscore u p b underscore a d m so this is basically the service and uh, you have to go into main dot html so what we have done is we might have done a typo mistake so here we are missing a n so admin so this is the service name so you can check the service in your SICF transaction also which is responsible for catalog and groups management so here what we would be doing is we will be creating a new catalog plus and um, the name of the catalog this will be a standard catalog and um, I'm going to say Z demo one and uh, we will be giving a unique ID Z demo one underscore zero one so that's just in case we have done some previous example so it doesn't really confuse us so maybe here also we will have underscore zero one so both are same and it's better to write it down so if i go into this particular catalog i will just kind of maintain in my sublime here so if i go here it's always good to have those maintained so in the later point when there are so many 
parameter we don't get confused catalog is basically here this is the name and uh, I will be just giving it tab here